Good morning, it's another dope day. Got my latte going, little Zinni's with me, and today I'm doing it straight from the van. And, oh my God, get out of my... Uh. I wanna kind of explore a little bit about what it's like to be a creator on the internet, because, I mean, I've been making content on the internet now for a few years, four or five years, or, you know, if you wanna go back to when I was making music, I've been doing this shit since I was 14 so I've been on the internet for like a decade now um, putting myself out there whether it be through music whether it be through podcast videos um, more recently through vlogs it's it's amazing I love creating content I've always had a very imagine very crazy imagination a really crazy mind and the internet social media you name it it's kind of given me an outlet to like share a lot of the thoughts that I'm having, a lot of the ideas I have, some of the crazy imagination that I uh, imagine in my mind. But it's not always easy. And I kind of want to explore today the good sides of social media, being a social media creator, and also maybe some of the negative sides of being a social media creator. So I got a few questions on my phone here. I, I like this kind of, uh, this format of like ask a question, answer the question because Excuse me, should be a lot of that. It's unedited, uncut. But anyway, I like answering questions because it kind of helps me focus my mind. Like I said in the last podcast, I have like ADHD, 4K, Ultra LED, like you name it. If it's, I got, I was never diagnosed with uh, attention deficit disorder, but I almost most guarantee, likely, most definitely have it because. It's just the way my mind works, man. I've been, I'm out of uh, Anyway. <laughs> um, if you're still listening to this, I want to, the first question I have is, why do I keep taking breaks from making content, from social media, from making music, from being a creator in general? And I think of it, I ask this question because I think back when I was younger, like before social media was really as big as it is today. And I would like, I'd be creating always man like you name it me and my little brother would be like making Legos and shit and we'd be creating songs just out of nowhere out of thin air while we're building Legos or we'd have these little action figures and we would create like an entire universe like an entire like storyline for their lives and like each of them had their own characters and like this is just kind of the things that I grew up doing I've always had the imagination to um, basically create something out of nothing and even when I first picked up a guitar, I was I didn't know how to play the guitar, but I would always create these little little songs, these little ditties out of basically nothing. But and it would never stop either. I'd be playing video games, for example. Uh, me and my brother growing up were really into that. And even while I'm you know poning noobs on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I'm kind of like singing. I'm kind of like making up these little songs, and. I don't know if it's part I don't know if it's part of being an adult or what but more recently I tend to take a lot of breaks from creativity a lot of breaks from my imagination and I find that kind of weird because maybe it's just being an adult you know I'm older now there's freaking life things that I gotta worry about I gotta like you know be an adult I can't just like be a kid with an imagination and creativity all the time but then again, why can't I? Like, why can't I just be creative and imagine all the time? And that's kind of where I feel like social media comes into play. Because I feel like I keep taking breaks. Uh, if I'm being real, in my vlogs when I'm explaining it, I talk a lot about how I basically get overwhelmed. I get, I feel like there's too much happening. And when there's too much going on, it's easiest for me to just drop it all and to just give up. Quick sip. And maybe giving up is not the, the way to go about it, but I do. And I guess sometimes I, I don't say this in the vlogs and shit, but sometimes I feel, I feel uh, judged when I post the social media. Um, I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> I feel like 
I'm being looked down on. And I think those feelings and those emotions are part of what contributes to me just like getting off social media. I mean, even as I'm talking on the podcast now, part of me is just in flow, just talking, just like being me, just whatever. But a small part of me somewhere within me is like uh, afraid, is like worried about what you're going to think, worried about are you even going to care, worried about um, is this going to get any comments, worried about is this going to get any likes, worried about is this um, gonna even matter to anybody or am I just kind of like talking to the freaking camera for no reason and it's kind of uh, it's kind of weird because I never really had these kinds of thoughts when I was younger creating right you're a kid you're you don't give a fuck who's watching you don't give a fuck who's listening you don't care you're just creating you're just being creative you're just using your imagination like like you find a stick and it's like the great sword a scalibur and you're gonna go slay the tree dragon or whatever uh, again random 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 but that's kind of where my mind goes and I guess I'm I'm talking about this I guess I'm making a video about this kind of because I'm curious if anybody else can relate and I'm sure you can I mean we talk about mental health a lot in today's society because it's so prominent because it's like everywhere because like everybody's dealing with some type of some type of thing and for me I guess my current thing is um other people maybe I'm just or it's obviously it's going within it's happening within me but I guess maybe I'm just worried about what other people think and that's so stupid because I mean, I'm gonna go let, I'm gonna let other people's opinions, other people's thoughts. I mean, oftentimes it's silent opinions. Like, it's not even like people are loud and they're in my face and they're telling me I'm stupid. What the frick am I doing? It's more or less like what I think other people are thinking. Cause I can't tell, really tell what they're thinking. But why does my mind go to this like, oh, they think I'm stupid. Oh, they think I look really dumb. Oh, they think I should have shaved. Oh man, they're making fun of this one zit I got. Oh, they, 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 they and it's like, why, <laughs> why? I don't know, but maybe you, maybe you know why, and you can leave a comment and let me know why. Cause I, I'm just kind of exploring things. I'm just kind of thinking. I want to really get over that. Like, I want to make podcasts and make videos and kind of like share I mean to be honest my goal for this podcast is at some point I want it to be so real to be so me that it's basically my diary it's basically my journal it's like a video journal and even like the craziest like most embarrassing things or humiliating things going on in my mind or in my heart or whatever I want to be able to share that and not feel judged I want to be able to share that and just just know that it don't really matter all that much that you know if I say something stupid and if you don't like me or somebody doesn't like me or somebody doesn't like what I said that they could politely just go fuck off and go live their lives and leave me alone um, yeah that's kind of my goal but I, I, if I'm being honest I'm 100% not there yet I feel like there's times in my life where I'm posting vlogs I'm making music, I'm in this flow, I don't give a f what anybody says or what anybody thinks and man when you're in that state it feels amazing. It's really cool because I feel like I'm back at where I was when I was a child and I was just creating and just being imaginative and not even really thinking about what anybody thinks. <coughs> Excuse me, welcome to my podcast, you don't like it, peace off if you don't like burps. Um, <laughs> I told you this would be random takes a sip of his chocolate latte anyway that's my goal is to just make these videos for me but also make them for you but also in general not give a shit what anybody thinks or says and I'm not there yet I still kind of care about people's opinions I still kind of care what you think about me 
and I don't want to, but maybe that's just like, I don't know, do you think that's just like built into human beings and we all feel like that? Or do you think like some people just have like this bulletproof, like don't give a shit about nothing uh, armor and you know, I'm trying to build that. I don't know, but this is a big reason why I keep on stepping away from social media. It's just because I, I get caught up, I guess, maybe in, um, I get caught up in a lot of things. I feel like for a lot of it is what other people think, but there's this whole other side of it that I haven't mentioned yet, but it's more or less like what I think of myself. Like, I, I judge myself like really hard. I don't know if you know this or if you can relate to this at all, but I am my worst critic. I am my worst enemy. And even when, you know, Tina, my girlfriend, she'll tell me how great I'm doing, how proud she is of me, you name it, this and that. But I will still f not quite feel there. I don't quite feel that. I have to shit on myself a little bit more. I have to work a little bit harder. I have to, I have to push myself to really get to a point where I finally feel like cool. And I don't know, is that, is that built within us? Or is this some type of thing that the culture that the society is is breeding us to believe? I don't know. But another question I have here is, what effects does social media have on mental health? And I can't speak for you, but I could speak for myself. I do tend to worry about what people think sometimes. I do tend to compare myself to others uh, and I mean this isn't even like consciously it's not even like I'm consciously like saying like yeah am I where this person's at hey are we on the same level hey, can I get past this person whatever it's not even like I'm consciously thinking that it's just something about social media scrolling through the gram something about the numbers something about I don't know I don't know but I don't like it I really don't like it and I'm trying to change it within myself I'm trying to realize it and a cool thing about doing this like sit in front of a camera is I'm I'm forced to complete my thoughts I'm forced to externalize what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and I said this in the last podcast like I'm a guy who thinks like crazy I'm a guy who thinks overthinks thinks and thinks and thinks and so just talking sometimes like having a conversation with a friend or having a conversation with yourself uh, it helps you to kind of work through these things but uh, another thing about the social media is I feel like not only am I worried about like what other people think or whatever this or that I'm worried about my own creations like my own music like my own videos I'm worried about this podcast like is this good enough like are people gonna like this uh, is this is this worth it and I ask myself, and even as I'm talking, part of my brain is like thinking, oh, should I just stop the camera? Oh, should I just like restart this? Oh, should I just like, did I say something stupid? Did I, uh, did I fall off track too often? Um, am I too random? Is the ADHD too strong? Are you able to follow this? Like, I'm asking all these questions about, like, am I good enough? Is this okay? Blah, blah, blah. Instead of just being in, like, a real a real flow state. And I did a podcast a couple years ago. I said it. And I was doing podcasts five days a week. So Monday to Friday, I took the weekends off. But Monday to Friday, I'm doing podcasts every day. So I eventually I made it to a point where I was just, like, flowing. I didn't really care. I knew that the podcast was helping people. So... I didn't really care about the details. Um, maybe it's just because I'm just getting started again. I'm starting to, I'm, tr I'm thinking a little bit more and a little bit more critically about the words that I'm saying and how I'm saying them and the content and the context of everything. I don't know. I guess at this point, guys, literally, I guess at this point I'm just thinking out loud. And if you're still watching this or listening to this, cool you must be able to relate to me in some way um and that feels good <laughs> i mean it does feel good to to kind of know like maybe i'm not the only person who is worried about these kinds of 
stupid things. Maybe I'm not the only person who has those self-doubts, um, who cares what other people think sometimes. And it's not, look, it's not like I, I, I like live for other people's opinions. Like I really don't like, I'm the kind of guy who does not give a shit. I'll do whatever I want as long as I know I'm doing the right thing. Like, for example, I live in a freaking van, dude. Who lives in a van? I live in a van with my dog Zenny, with my girlfriend Tina. We, I built this thing out myself. Um, like, that's one example. I'm a vegan. Like, uh, if you haven't guessed yet, or if you haven't been around in society, then you probably already know vegans are like shit on. Every chance that you could shit on a vegan, people shit on vegans. So, hey, getting shit on from that end too. Um, what else is weird and, and easily judged by, I mean, like, I'm just a freaking guy, a young guy talking to a camera like, yo, judge me, what a freaking weirdo, what a creep, what a narcissist, what a sociopath, you name it, like, judge me, judge me, bring it, please. <sighs> One more sip of the chocolate latte. Oh, that's good, very chocolatey, very rich. <sighs> but yeah, these are just some of the things I think about and I sometimes wonder if um, it's just like a product of social media, if it's just like something that we've more or less started to care about because you think about it guys, like depression, anxiety, um, even suicide, it's at an all time high in the, in the world right now. And it's like this whole generation, like I know I've, I'm feeling it, like we're feeling some hardcore depression, anxiety, you name it, like loneliness. And we're just like not really talking about it all that much. I mean, we're starting to talk about it a lot more, but I feel like, I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to do my part and just express myself and what's going on with me and how I feel and trying to do it in the most authentic way possible too. And that's why I'm, I'm doing this camera talking podcast type thing because I need to, I'm trying to get over those humps of like caring what other people think, caring about what I say on a camera. Like even as I'm talking now, I, I'm still in my head, but I'm like, dude, leave your head and just like be in flow. Just like talk, just like don't worry about what other people think. Just don't worry about this or that. Just don't feel so anxious. And it's not, uh, it's not always easy. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, let's see if what other questions I have here. Um, another thing, this is a good question. Um, are we too distracted to be creative and imaginative anymore? That's another thing about social media that I can't really make up my decision on. Like, is it helping us to be more creative because like we have platforms now to just like say whatever we want, do whatever we want for the most part, like we have a platform to do that? Or are we just like so distracted and jaded by like the landscape that we have trouble being ourselves anymore? Like we have trouble being creative, we have trouble having an imagination. Here's why I talk about this. And here's why I asked this question. When I was younger, as I said, I create pretty much any time, all the time. I remember when I was 14 and I started writing songs, it was like, boom, song after song after song after song after song. I wrote like an entire album in like a couple months. And then that album came out, people loved it. So I was like, frigate, let's write another album. So I wrote another one and then Maybe it's me becoming an adult or maybe it's just the culture change and like the whole social media change, but I feel like I've created less and less and less. The older I got, the less creative I've become, the less imaginative I've become. But, excuse me, not just because of social media, but, or sorry, not just because of age, but I think it's because of social media specifically. Because I remember back in 2016, I think, I said, okay, I'm freaking doing it. Just before 2016, I was like against Facebook, YouTube, social media, I was against all that shit. I didn't like it, I didn't care about it, I thought it was dumb. I thought everybody was just out there looking for attention and, and I just felt really, um, 
not real to me, so I didn't like it. But then 2016 came around, and I started to think about, and I started to not just think about, but see the value that social media can have in people's lives. For example, like my whole freaking life changed, my whole perspective changed, and everything when I got on the internet and started like learning for myself, started like researching the things that I was interested in, and and just learning about life. Like I learned more on the internet in a year than I did in my entire elementary and high school career. Like I learned more when I got out of school and I turned on freaking YouTube and started searching questions that I had like, man, how to be happy. Like, man, how to be, uh, you name it. Like how to play the guitar, how to build a van and turn a van into a home. Like I figured I've learned so much online. So it's like, I don't hate it, like I love it. I, d I discovered a lot because of the internet. And so in 2016, I decided, screw this, I'm going all in on social media, I'm just gonna do it. And so I started posting every day, I started doing all sorts of Facebook Lives, I started doing um, podcasts five days a week, like I was saying, I started releasing music a little bit more, like as a solo artist this time, because the band that I was in for a while broke up. And it was great, it was cool. But then you started getting reactions and that's where things for me i guess that's the, where things kind of got weird for me is getting people's reactions because when i was younger man i was just creating alone in my bedroom having a great freaking time i didn't really care about anybody's reaction or what anybody thought but then for some reason all of a sudden i'm posting on social media i'm getting instant feedback from friends from family from people who I haven't talked to in years. And that's a weird thing about social media that I'm still getting coming to grips with is like these videos that I post, like this video right here, you might be watching it and I haven't talked to you either in my entire life, we've never had a conversation, or I haven't talked to you in like 10 years, yet for some reason you're watching this. Like to me, that's it's weird getting over that, but not just that, it's like people are commenting, sometimes great things, sometimes okay things, sometimes terrible things. And getting that instant feedback sometimes I feel like is the problem. Like I can't just create with the love of creating and put it out there and just let people enjoy it. It's like I create, I have fun creating and then I put it online and now people comment and now people get to decide what that means instead of me deciding what that means for myself, right? And yeah, still getting over that and I feel like that question I asked, are we too distracted to be creative anymore? I find like, I won't even create as often as I used to. Instead, like, I'll freaking pick up the phone. Like if I get bored, like let's talk about boredom for a second. That's where a lot of creativity and imagination come from. Like when I was a kid, dude, we were bored. Like we were playing with these little freaking plastic Lego toys and these funky little action figures. Like that was our thing back then. And, and now it's like, oh my goodness, like I can't get bored if I try. Like as, the second I get bored, my body automatically picks up my phone, automatically opens YouTube, Instagram, freaking Fallout Shelter, Candy Crush, Crazy Cupcakes, you name it, man. There's so many distractions. And so like when I look at my output, I I'm creating less and less and less and less as I get older, but not just that, as I get deeper into social media, as our culture becomes more accustomed to the internet and it, the phones and it becomes part of who we are as a society, man, I'm, I'm freaking distracted. I got, I, and when you're distracted, there's really not much to say. There's really not much to do. There's really not much to create. There's not a lot of imagination because why do you have to have imagination when the, the craziest shit is coming from right here, the phone, like it's, it's the ultimate distraction. And you already know, I'm sure you know, these companies, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, Google, it's their job to like get us hooked on it. It's their job to make us addicted. They are, they're using the same tactics as gambling and to, to get us hooked on this phone, the notification, the sound, the bell, the fact that it's an endless scroll that will never end. You could always keep going and find something new. Dude, good luck writing a new album. Good, <laughs> good luck like getting excited or, or, or imagining some type of thing that you want to create. Maybe it's a story, maybe it's a book, maybe it's a video, whatever. 
And so it's like this double-edged sword. Like it's amazing because we're connected to the whole world because we got this platform to create whatever the hell we want, whenever the hell we want. But on the other hand, it's so distracting and so inhuman. Like it's not human at all. And there's something about it that's just like, it makes creativity and imagination like 10 times harder, even though it's the where you put the things that you've created. Anyway, yeah, this is just some of the thoughts that go through my mind and maybe this also gives you a little bit more of an insight as to why I'll post a vlog every single day for like 60 days and then I won't post anything for like a month. And it's like uh, I just get distracted or I get jaded by people's opinions or I read a comment that just turns me off from social media and I'm like, eh, do I really want to like contribute to this? Like, do I really want to be a creator on a platform that I'm not a hundred percent sure that it's a good thing. But then again, I think it's a good thing. I've learned a lot from social media. I'm a much better person because of the things that I've found on the internet and because I've learned. But at the same time, double-edged sword, it's also stabbed me in the ass a few times in my life where I just feel like depressed and I feel like anxious, especially anxiety, like depression. I've dealt with a shit ton of that in my life. Anxiety. Oh my God. <laughs> I've dealt with it a lot and I still deal with that shit today. Like, I don't think I'll ever, maybe I will have it figured out someday, but I don't think I'll ever have it figured out. I think I'll always be learning, trying to overcome this shit and not just overcome it. Like, I guess for me, it's not about defeating depression or defeating anxiety, but it's about creating a better state of mind that just overpowers it automatically. Maybe I'm just so excited that I ain't got no space for anxiety. There's no room. I'm so freaking pumped. Like, maybe I'm just like so happy or so at peace that I got no, there's no room or there's no energy left for depression because I've already spent all my energy creating this other emotion. Yeah, I don't know. Some of the thoughts that I think about when I'm alone. Well, I guess I'm not really alone. Oh, I got my buddy here. Oh, I got my buddy Zanny. Never alone. Cause I got this girl right here. She's so precious. So she's falling asleep in my arms. If you're listening to this on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you listen to podcasts, go follow me on YouTube so you can see how cute my dog is. Oh, and she smells like Tina's makeup. Oh, she's so. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for today. Um, I'm not really sure the direction that this podcast is going to go in. Like, as you could tell, I really do have like an ADHD Ultra 4K OLED um, problem <laughs> that I'm just all over the place. But uh, if you're listening to this, maybe you don't care. Maybe you're cool with that. And that's good because I'm cool with it for the most part. I think it's hilarious. I have fun with my uh, my crazy mind brain thing, thinking out loud for you to enjoy or to pontificate on the words that I say. Um, just gonna continue talking until I d figure out that. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it because even though I, I'm, I am expressing my my weird feelings about social media, my weird feelings about being a digital creator in 2019, I'm still like super grateful for it. Like I'm super grateful that, you know, people, I'm, like I can create whatever I want and put it out there and people can enjoy it. Anyway, I rambled on for so long that my camera told me to shut up and uh, I'm just gonna shut up now. So if you uh, want to follow the podcast, if you wanna follow me in my crazy life, our adventures, driving around, traveling the world in this little van that we call home, uh, follow me on Instagram, at Bren Social, follow me on YouTube, at Bren, uh, follow me on Spotify, go listen to some of my music on, uh, at Spotify, I don't know. Anyways, thanks again for listening. I'm gonna go enjoy my day. Uh, let me. I'm gonna leave a question for you. Actually, if you made it to the end here, I want you to answer this. Do you feel like social media has overall had more of a positive effect on your life, 
or had more of a negative effect on your life? Like, do you feel like it makes you feel great, gives you uh, an opportunity to connect with people, an opportunity to create and, and have a platform to do that shit? Or do you feel like social media has kind of fucked you up a little bit and made you uh, a little bit more anxious, a little bit more depressed, a little bit more worried about what people think in the world and this? I, to be honest, I feel like I'm leaning more on the positive side. I think social media is great, but it's not without some negatives. There's some negatives there. And I think to bring awareness to both, to bring awareness to how positive things are and to bring awareness to how negative things are, we can kind of like work with the two, make the positives more ne positive and make the negatives less negative. So that's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you think. That's it. Bye. Peace.